So the 14th triple double in league history, you're the only 10th player to ever accomplish that fact. I mean, has that sunk in yet? Um, no, I think my adrenaline is still going from the game. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for my teammates, I definitely wouldn't have got it. I didn't realize I had seven rebounds at the time, and everybody was yelling at me. So at that point, I just started flying everywhere to try to get every rebound, and uh, it worked out. Coach said that it was during a timeout, I think, with just under three minutes left, that Powers went up and said, you just need three more mm -hmm. uh, to go. Um, you were unaware at that point? or Yeah, I had no idea. I mean, I, I knew I needed – um, an assist for a double double, but I had no idea about the rebounds. And AP came right up to my face and shook me. You need to get three rebounds. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then Nina did her best to try not to let me get it at the end, and she stole one rebound. So I don't know. It just worked out. For so me. you had a chance at that offensive board. I was flying to get it, and then no, it was from a, I think it was from a free throw, and Nina grabbed it, and oh. I was just looked at her. I was like, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Does it mean anything? more that it happened against your former team? No, um, I think for me, it means the most that I did it with the group that I did it with because um, basketball goes away, but the feeling that I had with my teammates, um, how excited they were for me, which felt like they were more excited for me than I was at the time. Um, that's special and that's something that you're going to remember. You won't remember your wins, all the wins, all the games or whatever, but the moments that you get with these people, um, these amazing people and doing it, uh, with this organization, um, that's what means the most for me. Um, Coach has been asking you guys for a complete game all year, mm -hmm. and this is about as close as you can come to that, isn't it? Yeah, I think, uh, what was it, our second quarter? It's probably um, our worst quarter, but we did a good job still playing good defense. So even when we're not scoring, um, if we don't allow them to score, that's that's huge for us. But it was a great balanced floor game. Um, I'm proud of all of my teammates. I think we played really good, and especially coming off of the game in Chicago where you feel like you let it slip. And especially for me, knowing that that was not my best game, I felt like in the moment um, I let my teammates down. But they all reached out to me and were like, hey, we got your back. And I think that just pushed me even more today to be even better um, and to be the best uh, version of me as I could today. He didn't bite on Kent's question, so I'll try one more time. <laughs> First triple double in Lynx history. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it mean to be able to do that for you know such a kind of storied franchise in the league? I mean, I mean, it's huge um, for any player when you get a triple double. It's exhausting because you you're playing defense, you're playing offense, you're passing the ball. Yeah, your teammates have to make shots. You have to be in the right moment at the right time. Um, but when you're doing it in the course of the game and it just flows and you're not forcing it or trying to get it, I think that's the best. And the fact that I didn't really know until the last three minutes made it a lot easier um, for me doing it. But um, like I said, again, um, getting that triple double and doing it here with this organization, with with the team that I did it today. Um, and then also Coach Cheryl, like, really, really challenged me last game, um, got in my face. I needed it, and I love when that happens. And my job as a point guard is to respond, and hopefully, Coach, you're, you're happy with what, <laughs> what I did today. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, other than maybe your rookie year, this has been basically your best statistical season of your career to this point. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you're finding such success, or kind of what is it about the Lynx or Coach Reeves' system that's, that's helping you kind of thrive? That's a hard question. Um, it, it, I think it's a little bit of everything, you know, just playing with a team that's so unselfish. Uh, the ball doesn't really stick. Uh, for me, I'm the best when I'm in pick and roll situations, and we are heavy on pick and roll. Um, still sets amazing screens. My teammates do a great job of being U-turn players, knocking down open shots. Um, and when you can do that, it's easier as a point guard to get to your spots. So um, I just think the system that we're in, the way that the ball moves, um, Everybody having each other's back. If I have a bad game, I know somebody else is going to step up for me. So, um, yeah, I think it's just the system. Um, and then the belief that my teammates and my coaching staff has in me, um, just a confidence booster. Mo, well, I asked Cheryl last week before the, the first Phoenix game, um, you know, just how much of a challenge was it for all of you to find the, the fun in everything that you're doing? And she said it was really hard, but that mm -hmm. the players were enjoying – you know, being with each other every day and getting to know each other. And, and she just spoke praises about, you know, the, how close you guys have come together in such a quick amount of time. Just can you describe from your view what it's been like um, for this team to really come together and gel since you've been here? Because it was kind of crazy when you first got there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's been a whirlwind. Um, 
but from the moment that I got here, I felt accepted. And I think when you have teammates and players who are willing to bring you in and nobody's worrying about, oh, she's coming to take my spot. Um, you know, I have the point guards coming up to me, telling me the plays. I have people patting me on my back, cheering me on. And we're just a close knit group. And when you have that and when you have that chemistry and now we finally have our full team back together, um, it's bound to click at some point. Um, we have a really good group of girls who who stay together and who understand how to win games. We just have to do that consistently for four quarters. And I think today is the closest that we got to it. So um, we need to continue to build on that chemistry and keep moving forward. Uh, and then Ariel had an awesome first quarter mm -hmm. and really got the crowd yeah. going into it. Just what is it like to be on the floor next to her when she's, you know, in that rhythm and she's really hyping up the crowd like she is? It's huge. It's fun. I mean, our, first of all, our crowd is amazing anyway. And then a AP comes down, hits a couple threes, and she's screaming and yelling at the crowd. It makes me want to do that. And I'm not even a raw raw player, but I see AP do it now. Next thing I know, I'm yelling. So it's that type of energy, that type of effort that we need um, from her every single night. And she was a big part of why we got out to the start that we did. And I'm super, super proud of her for that. Right, Cheryl was in here talking before the game about it. This is a team that really needs to make a move. Mm -hmm. kind of, it's that time of the year. And coming out in the first quarter like that, oh, my gosh. I mean, did, did you all have that same sense coming into this game? Yeah, I mean, we knew. We talked about um, making our own breaks and not catching a break. And I think that's what we have to do every game. We have to come out with a sense of urgency. And that starts on the defensive end. If we're playing defense the way that we did today, covering up, helping for each other, um, it helps us get out in transition. And we're a really good team when we're out running, um, knocking down threes, uh, getting, getting layups, and, and getting into the flow of the game that way.